As we now move further on with the video questions for On The Spot, we're now going to have a look at a question sent to us from Chapman Films. I have not actually watched any of these, so this is going to be... In oh, look at his intro. That's awesome. I love that. Hey, Spot, you might remember me from back in the day as the Richard Nixon Show. Yes, I do. I made a video because I... Richard Nixon show, by the way, I'm just going to pause the video for a second. It had it made a video a long time ago when I alluded that I was going to wrap this channel up. Still to this day, one of my favorite videos. I love that video. Lone tear. Anyways, moving along. He's got himself a nice little setup, by the way. Look at that. Look how fantastic of a job. He's even got, he's even got the bat hound there. Right there. Anyways, let's resume. My top five favorites reviews from you at the time and because everyone thought you were leaving or something and um, but uh, you also on this name Chapman Films on this channel you gave me some very constructive criticism on my first two reviews really appreciate the time you took and um, gave me that you advice. sir are very well really appreciate it and I just want to thank you that was almost almost a year ago now so thanks so much so here's my questions to you I got three questions right here one's about the new 52 One's about YouTube, and the other one's just some random question that I will pull out of a hat. Pull it out of a hat. Fire it away. You. So, let's draw. Let's see which one you're going to get. Oh, look at this, eh? You're going to get it's like Russian random roulette. question. Random oh, question. Okay, Here we random go. Random question spot. Lay it on me. If you were hungry right now, and someone offered you a peanut butter sandwich or a ham and cheese sandwich with no mayonnaise, no mayonnaise spot, which one would you take? Peanut butter, ham and cheese sandwich, no mayonnaise. All right, buddy. Thank you so much, and I appreciate everything you've done. And bonjour. Now that is also a very nice sandwich he put on the end of his video. I would say, as by the way, it's a very good random question. Not factoring in the mayonnaise. By the way, I don't know if I would put mayonnaise on a ham and cheese sandwich. I might have put mustard. But I would say maybe, if I get I got the choice, I would probably go peanut butter. That's how I, I would roll it with a peanut butter, maybe a glass of milk. That that's it. That's how that's what Spot would do. Peanut butter sandwich all the way. All the way. Thanks for your question, Chapman Films, and certainly keep up the good work. Let's move back to our last video question. This comes to us from Phantom Twins ninety nine. Let's click on that. Let's find out what he has asked this humbled reviewer. I'll bring the volume up a bit here. Question segment, and I just wanted to ask if you could create any, or actually first, what like your dream team of DC Universe Classics kind of wave? Like, what is your dream team? Like, mine here is a Batman Beyond, Robin, Nightwing, Green Arrow, Red Arrow, and of course uh, Bane in the back. Like, what's your dream team? Of DC Universe Classics. It can only be five, like the original, so... Oh, well, I guess you could do seven, but, like, your dream team... That's a good question. Like, if you could create any custom DC Universe Classics wave, like, even with characters that aren't made, and the build a figure, what would you, um... What would be those custom characters? And before I end the video, I just want to ask one more question. If, if you've ever been to Comic-Con, I went recently last year, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, I just wanted to um, ask those questions for you, Spot. Thanks. Bye. Well, thank you very much, Phantom Twins. All right, so he's asked three questions. I really said I was only going to do one, one question per person, but because he took the time and did a video question, let's go through it. If I was to comprise a dream team of characters that have already been established in the DC Universe waves, and I was going to put those characters together now, I apologize in advance if Spot does not remember exact waves and whatnot, but um, if I was to do a dream team of five, I would probably say Joker from DC Universe Cl Classics Wave 10. Um, I would also say the original uh, Green Arrow from, what wave was that? Was that the chemo wave? Um, I would also go with Black Cat. No, sorry, Wild Cat. I don't know where I got Black Cat from. I would go Wild Cat, the black variant. Um, I 
I'm trying to think of other significant ones that really stand out for me. Um, I would probably also say Aquaman from what was it Wave? I think it was the Gorilla Grodd Wave. And I was also I would also say Blue Costume Superman, the Energy Superman. I know those are ridiculous. Some of those, especially you're probably saying Blue Costume Superman. There's something about that figure I just love. I just love that figure, and I don't know why. I am going to do Swat's favorite uh, DC Universe classic figure reviews, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, and as for a Collect and Connect figure, I would probably go with... I like Bane, but I probably would go with Darkseid. I think Darkseid by far personifies a the classic designs of some of these original characters. So I would probably say Darkseid. Um... If I could create a brand new wave of characters maybe that don't exist, I would do, um, was it Preston Payne? I would do the clay face with the domed helmet. and I think he had a cape and everything else. Actually, I would do a Feet of Clay box set. I don't know if anyone else would buy that, but with like Lady Clayface and the cl third Clayface, Basil Karlov. Um, I would, I mean, I would do that, but I mean, I don't think anyone would really buy that. Um, I would buy, I would, if, if anything, I would, I would pick, pick, I think his name is Preston Payne, the original clay face or the second clay face with the domed helmet. I would totally do him as a figure before anybody comments down below. I would totally have him as a figure. Um, I would also have the Nightfall era 90s Catwoman with the long black hair, purple uh, spandex suit, the high heel boots. We've only ever gotten her in a Nightfall DC Direct figure. I love that figure. Unfortunately, mine broke, so I'm gonna have to look for another one. But I would definitely have her finally as a DC Universe figure. Um, I don't know if I'd, I'd, I'd certainly don't want to stick specifically just to, um, just specifically to, uh, you know, Batman characters. Um, I would also put in, was it the top? Or Weather Wizard? You know what? Let's throw Weather Wizard in there. I, I could use another Flash Rogue. That would be kind of cool. Weather Wizard? Why not? We got Mirror Master, Captain Cold. Um, Mirror Master, Captain Cold. And of course, we got Captain Boomerang. You know what? Throw in the Weather Wizard as well. And. I'm trying to think of a good. Hmm. We got Poison Ivy. That's good. I'm glad we got Poison Ivy. I would love to see another Scarecrow. I, you know what? I'm, I, yeah, I'm going back to another Batman character, but I would really love to see another Scarecrow. We got a really good Scarecrow that was the Sinestro core, but really, you know, with the trench coat and he had the Sinestro logo and everything all over. I, you know what? If they could just somehow retool that figure, I would love to see a new Scarecrow. Um, but as for a build a figure. Um, this is completely, I mean, this is completely irrelevant because I, I'm just making up waves here, but, uh, I want to, I would love to see a collect and connect doomsday. We never have gotten one. Never, never at all. We have not gotten a collect and connect doomsday. Or if we are going to stick specifically to a Batman theme and we leave weather wizard out, um, I would really like to, I would, I would really like to get a new clay face. You know, like a big, like, uber clay face. You know, something that looks very similar to DC Universe or DC Superheroes clay face, but maybe with other limbs, like a big hammer that's got spikes all over it. Maybe alternate limbs, you know, something like that. Really elaborate. That would be kind of cool, too. And uh, your last question from Phantom Twins 99 was, have I ever been to Comic-Con? Um, actually, I have never been to Comic-Con. Um... Most spot has ever been to is I've been to some toy shows here in Canada. Um, it's been a while since I've even gone to those. So Spot's going to try to get out more, a little bit more than what he has been. Um, Comic Con definitely is something I, I would love to to go to one one of these days. So uh, we'll see. We'll definitely see. If he does, if I do at some point go to Comic Con, I you know I'll let you guys know. But uh, thank you to Phantom Twins 99 for sending me your question. That also wraps up all our video questions for On The Spot. So thank you to everybody who sent me questions. Um, I am going to wrap this up here as we get closer to 10 minutes. 
Again, I'm gonna upload this video. When we come back, it's gonna be part four, and we're gonna start the text questions that you guys have sent me. So stay tuned for that. On the spot is going strong. Stay tuned for part four. See you guys then.